We know that next month it might be kind of hard when it comes to hiring new people. So we are trying to make sure we can optimize of what we have. And when it comes to that, uh, Sloth is very valuable to give good input to where we have uh, possible blockers or where our flow is not working well. Sloth plays an important part when it comes to improving our ways of working on a day-to-day -day basis. Would you be able to tell us a little bit about what challenges you were looking to solve with the Dora Metrics tracking tool in the first place? So, from past experience uh, and also from the literature, we've understood that the Dora Metrics encourage really good behaviors uh, in the team. So for instance, if we want to have a deployment frequency of at least one per day, uh, this encourages frequent changes, which in turn encourages small pull requests or small uh, deployments which in turn lead to less problems, or at least if there are problems, they will be easier to roll back or easier to fix. So we also understand that the Dora metrics are much more valuable if they are measured on a change uh, level, on a commit level, compared to ticket or user story level. Sleuth goes down to the commit level, and that was one of the reasons actually why we chose Sleuth. What sort of successes have you had with Sleuth? Have you discovered any interesting insights that have led to process changes? So there's been uh, a lot of uh, positive impacts. So one thing that I see uh, came out of this was that a number of teams started to use uh, trunk-based development. So they also introduced the continuous deployment uh, If the tests are green, uh, in staging, it deploys automatically to, to production without any manual intervention. This provided better quality. It allowed to improve the metrics, but this also allowed them more confidence with what they're doing because they trust the test. So I think this was a, a really success. And at the same time, with us tracking the MTTR by looking to know if we connected to Sloop, this allowed uh, in the last month for our MTTR to, to go down in very noticeable. So I think that was also a big victory. Are you using Sleuth as well as a mechanism for reporting any of these metrics or trends to stakeholders outside of engineering? There's a, a report that goes out every month with a big picture of how the organization is doing around it. And this is taken as a health metric for the company-wide. Since we use Sleuth, uh, these health metrics have been automated. They are taken directly from Sleuth. So it's also been able to automate some process that was done manually before and provide some visibility to the stakeholders of the overall state of the, the organization. Last year we released our Teams feature which really allows you to look at the specific intersections of you know metrics for a particular team's contribution to a particular project and vice versa. I wonder if you guys have made any use of that particular functionality. Yeah, we, we started to make use of it when it was available and we have you know, very frequently teams contributing to a central repository that is owned by a different team. And this is where the team metrics, because it counts the deployments or counts the actions of individual members of a different team independent of the repositories they contribute to, comes into place and gives us value in that. We recently released a feature that we called Work in Progress, which is really giving you visibility into kind of your in-flight pull requests and doing a lot of risk identification to see where things are maybe veering off track. Have you had a chance to explore that feature at all? I did, I did, and it was actually very valuable to us. So in the past, what the teams were doing was every day in the stand-up, they would look in Jira, like, what tasks do you have in progress and how long have they been in progress and they started to go through the work in progress view in Sloop because it gives visibility on a pull request page. So that was for the teams that use pull requests, this was very valuable. I think having this visibility of work in progress also brought some more collaboration in the teams and some more understanding of helping each other uh, resolve possible blockers. There's an open pull request that someone else is working on before starting something new, I actually speak with this person and understand if they need help. Because it's more important to finish something than to start something new. 